Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with another bounty break. We're going to do 2022-23 Panini Donruss Soccer. Three box, random team number four. One spot gets you two teams. All card ship. So we've got a mix of, uh, of different clubs from all the different European leagues. And we also have countries as well. So obviously, note, some players in their card have country kits and club team kits. If you get Man City, you're going to get all the Erlen Holland cards in a Man City shirt. And if you get randomized Norway, you'll get all the ones with him in the Norway shirt. I think that makes a lot of sense, right? So yeah, a lot, a lot of nice stuff, a lot of nice potential in here as well. All card ship. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Let's double you up. Oh, double up. Oh, oh. There's all the, the teams, clubs and countries. Let's roll it, randomize it. One and a three, four times for both lists. One, two, three, and a one. Fourth and final time. Got Matt down to Chris. All right, and then one and a three, four times for the clubs and countries. One. Two, three, and four. All right, after four times, we got Inter Milan and Argentina. All right, Matt with Inter Milan, Chris with Roma, Ryan with my club, Liverpool, Dayton with Juve and Benfica, Tristan with Norway, Bennett with Man City, Josh with Barcelona, Ryan with Colombia, Matt with the Three Lions, we got Bennett with Chechia, we got uh, Matt with Man United, Dayton with Atletico Madrid, Josh with Portugal, Tristan with Wales, Brian with Chelsea and Real Madrid. They're, they're facing each other in the Champions League matchup. Uh, Real Madrid kind of comfortably took game one, leg one. Chris with AC Milan, Brian with Korea, Harry with Olympique, Olympique Marseille. There's Quinton with FC Porto. Chris with Germany. Harry with Serbia. Tristan with the USA men's and women's team and Italy. Matt with Mexico. Brian with Sporting. Quinton with France. Dayton with Ajax. And Chris with Argentina. So we're going to alphabetize by club and country. We're going to pause the video. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we will have the break. Stick around. We'll see you on the other side. All right. Welcome back, everybody. TWC trade window closed. That list right there remains the same here on Sunday the 16th. Thanks, everyone, for getting in on it. Appreciate it. Now, this is indeed a bounty break. So if you look at our... Uh, if you look, go to jazbeescasebreaks.com, you'll see all the, uh, the details. But basically, if I just pull any card with exactly that serial number combo, then those are the various break credits that you can win. So let's see what we can get, what we can get out of here. Got one autograph, one memorabilia, and I'm sure a number of parallels, kaboom, night moves, Some of the stuff that we're looking for. A lot of cards in this break, so a lot of bounty opportunities. <clears throat> Excuse me, and we got Clippers at Suns in the background. Clippers got off to a big lead. Suns came back. And now with 8.35 left in the game, we're tied at 90.
Anybody in this soccer break watching live? Looks like everyone's watching the basketball game. There's nobody in the chat. At least not for the last, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. This is a pretty close game. Jason pull a CR7 last night? I like the rated rookie stylings here. And we've got a, a Nahua Molina. I like that. I don't know what this pattern's called, but that looks pretty cool. All right, we got out of 199, 27 out of 199. We're looking for 100 out of 199. That's going to be Bernardo Silva going to uh, Man City. That'll be for Bennett. Those ones aren't numbered. And these have more of the uh, that optic feel to it as opposed to the more paper feel of Donruss. You're designing your shot clock prototype. That's what Gabe's saying. We got Irving Lozano. Nice. Four out of ten. Nice low number on that for L3, Mexico. That's going to be for Matt. Jeremy's watching rivals Hogan versus Piper. I don't know what that means, but that sounds great. Good. There's an Erling Holland, not his rookie, but still. A lot. I gotta find out what this parallel is called. It's, it's a cool-looking parallel. I'm not sure what the name of that is. That looks pretty cool. Anyone know how the shot clock works? Is there someone manually resetting the clock when the, when the ball hits the rim, or is it is it automated somehow? There's a hollow Erlen Holland, who's just destroying goal records it seems like this season. Did Jason pull a Cristiano Ronaldo autograph? And we got a kid series, Aaron Ramsdale relic. That's for Matt and the three lines. Wow. An autograph? Yeah. 
Well, these are all from the same case, so I would be I would be thrilled if we found if we saw another one. We'd be very lucky. Got a numbered card here, 215 out of 349. That's Gonzalo Borges for Porto. That's going to go to. That's going to go to Quinton and FC Porto. One of the big Portuguese clubs out there. Do I think it's Man City's year to win the uh, to win the Champions League? I mean, that's the only major trophy that they're missing. This could be it. That's to one sixty five forty three out of one sixty five. That's Im Pong Hwang. That goes to Brian in Korea. So Mike's saying this is a silver hollow foil. All right. I like it. It looks cool. Yeah, I mean, and I think Erlen Holland's, you know, a, a real big reason why. Yeah, the the these these ones I know. It's just that I haven't seen I haven't seen this design before. Obviously, the red, the red I know. That's pretty standard. There's Luka Modric for Real Madrid. That's James's club. Kyle Saka, that optic design for England, it's for Matt. It must be manual, Chilo, because they, they're they're talking about the shot clock being being reset. I think someone's doing that manually. A rookie, uh, rookie hollow, Pablo Barrios for Atletico Madrid. Be for Dayton.
And there's the beautiful game autograph, Nguyen Perez. And that is for Chris and Argentina. Nice. All right, got that Erlen Holland base card. We got the Net Marvels Bukayo Saka for England. And then we've got uh, for Norway. 102 out of 199. Just two off the bounty? Oh. 100 out of 199 is the bounty. Christian Thorseft going to Norway. Very close, Tristan. There's Patrick Schick. Uh, 65 out of 199. Chechia is for Bennett. That blue parallel. All right, next box. So in the quarterfinals, Real Madrid of the Champions League, Real Madrid beat Chelsea 2-0. I saw that game. Real Madrid looked in control of that game the entire time. Man City beat Bayern Munich 3-0. AC Milan beat Napoli 1-0. And uh, Inter Milan beat Benfica 2-0. So yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be probably going to be Real Madrid unless there's a... I mean... Unless there's a huge comeback by Bayern Munich, they got to beat. Because I don't think they do. Uh, they don't. They don't do. They got rid of aggregate goals or the away goals rule a few, two or three seasons ago now. So it's just outright total goals, home and away. Who wins? You know. So. So Bayern Munich has to beat Man City by, uh, well, 3-0 ties it, 4-0 wins it in the next game. So that's going to be a tough task to score that many goals against Man City without them scoring a goal. Here, it got a pretty prolific attack. But yeah, so I mean, the expectations probably, unless some miracles happen, Real Madrid, Man City will be meeting in the semifinals, which should be exciting. And I'm not sure, I could, could go, I, I would think Inter Milan can, will move on from Benfica. I forget who's, what, their, what the second leg is, home or away. Milan and Napoli. I mean, either way, it's going to be an Italian team in the semifinals. All right, good luck, everybody. Another box. And we got Kit Kings, Mesut Ozil. Piece of the jersey. Yeah, I do like that. Gilo, like Barcelona will have the, the their soccer team and their basketball team. I think they're all run by the same organization. I think 
Bayern Munich, some of the bigger clubs in Europe definitely have that kind of that kind of uh, synergy. And it's not just it's not just football and and basketball. I think they'll have like other sports there too, other team sports. But I think some clubs try to do that. Like I know the LA Sparks have the same color uniform as the Lakers for the most part. I think they do try to keep that branding as close as possible to some other major teams, at least in basketball. But it is a cool, just it's just cool branding wise, you know. And the entire the entire city is just that color, you know. Got Yu Jo Huang. That's eighty five out of one ninety nine. Brian with Korea. We'll save one of these Lionel Messi's too in this parallel. Looks really cool. Yeah, the Royals and Sporting KC have the same colors. But then the Chiefs are red. And the women's soccer team is also, wait, same which color scheme? The blue or the Chiefs color scheme? Oh, blue, but they use more of a turquoise color. I really think they should, teams should just work together, but I guess in Europe, it's also just one ownership that's sponsoring, that ends up sponsoring all of those teams. There's Marco uh, Lazatic for AC Milan. That goes to Chris. 23 out of 25. Here's an Erling Holland for Norway. I think these are just One's at silver and one's bronze, but not numbered. And we've got a uh, signature series autograph, Theo Hernandez for Le Bleu for France. That goes to Quinton. A little color match there. The parallel 17 out of 49. And that's 006 out of 199. There's Zhao Mario for Benfica. That'll be for Dayton. Yeah, Benfica down a couple goals to Inter Milan. Does Pittsburgh have the same colors for all their teams? All right, Pirates, Steelers, Penguins are all pretty much the same, yeah. See, I kind of like the, the, that's good city branding as well. 
everyone can unite under those colors. That's a good point, I think you're right. Really good at golf, Gareth. <laughs> Apparently, he's close to a scratch golfer. Here's another uh, out of twenty-five in Bom Hong or Hong in Bom. And here's Allison Becker for my club, Liverpool, 26 out of 49. Uh, Huang will go to Korea, that's Brian, and Ryan will get uh, this Allison Becker. My club, Liverpool, has had their share of ups and downs this season. Don't I mean, they're going to have to rattle off a bunch of wins to get a sniff of that Champions League spot. There's a, uh, but it's gonna be a tall order, tall task for them, the way their season's been going. There's a couple uh, Cristiano Ronaldo's for Portugal. That's gonna go to Josh Melton. We've got a Pitch Kings, and we've got a Net Marvels. Which I think the Net Marvels are uh, are a popular insert set. It's Virgil van Dijk to 165, again for Liverpool. They got a lot of work to do, especially in that midfield. They're, they've had some health issues too, especially with some of their strikers. I think there hasn't been a lot of consistency there. Big midfield issues that they got to address, but losing Champions League is kind of rough because they were going to chase after, or, uh, not Erlen Holland, there's... Um, different Dortmund, pl Dortmund player, Jude Bellingham, widely regarded as one of the best young midfielders out there, very versatile player, forward and back in the defense, but he's going to cost a pretty penny. The transfer market, I don't think Liverpool is going to, well, they're not that one player away, they got to, they got to try to, try to refresh that squad in different ways, so. It'll be an interesting summer. For, uh, for Liverpool once the season is over. Even with or without Champions League, they still have to refresh that squad, especially in the midfield. We got to 349, that is uh, Rico Lewis for Man City. I'm gonna go to Bennett. Yeah, I don't want to miss any numbered cards, Gilo, so I've only been listening to the game. The Suns can't rebound anything? Is that what's happening? You would think with DeAndre Ayton, he'd be all over the place. All right, third and final box. Ram Team 4, a Bounty Hunter break. Now we, we've gotten extremely close 
in, in the breaks we've been doing today, there's been at least three or four bounties that were within that were within a few numbers, within a few digits of uh, of triggering a bounty, but we have not hit one right on the nose just yet. But we're getting warmer. It's a close finish here. Suns are down by one in Phoenix. With 17.7 seconds left, Westbrook's gonna shoot a free throw. Two, maybe? He's got seven, 10, and seven. Russell Westbrook does. See Bombers fired up. Hits the second three. Wow. Clippers are up by three with 17.7 seconds left with a couple clutch free throws. Hmm. What was our, our favorite Suns fan, Joe Pizzle? What was he saying? He was saying Phoenix Suns were going to win in five. And this, this start might, might have him a little nervous. We got a Virgil van Dyke to 199, 30 out of 199. We need 100 out of 199. But that'll still go to Liverpool, the, the mighty center back. Awesome player. We got uh, Lotaro Martinez, 4 out of 99. We need 24 out of 99. But this will still go to Inter. It'll be for Matt. Sun's burning another timeout. Here's here's a this isn't this is not his rookie card. I think this is like his second year card. But Vinicius in here, great young player here. And he's got he's got pace. He's got. It's creativity, scoring ability. And there's Kit Kings, Ignacio Abate. <clears throat> Forza Azuri, that's for Tristan. If Cubs could come back down 3-1, anyone can come back. Rex is saying a little... Not quite what we're talking about here, but well, Rex will shoe and shoehorn in the Cubs as much as possible. We know this. No, <laughs> this team's only going to be down. Suns are only going to be down. They're favorites, first of all, and they're only going to be down one game, Rex. So there's still a ways to go before we talk about that scenario. Okay. 
feel like Liverpool's missed Luis Diaz for much of the, for much of the season range. <laughs> I know, James. That's our Rex, though. He'll, he'll shoehorn in that Cubs talk whenever he can, whether it's relevant or not. Wow. There's Trinity Rodman. Yes, that Rodman. <laughs> nice one, Mike. You know how they did. And we got it out of 199, 96 out of 199. Jao Murillo for Benfica. Dayton, we've been, we've been awful close with these bounties. It's a big win for the Clippers. Taking one on the road. In, yeah, in Phoenix, taking one on the road and without Paul George. It's huge. 14 out of 25, Matthias Soule. For Juve. Malfunction. Chila, we need your uh, we need your we need your clock and, and your automated AI clock invention here. There are humans running this thing. Joshua Kimmich for Germany. That's going to be for Chris Thibodeau. Yeah, Westbrook. The stat line might not show it. Well, actually, it will because he had ton of rebounds. Yeah, Westbrook came up huge with the end with defense. Relentless Cruz Hoover rebounds. Then Suns lack of size showing up today. Yeah, that's the that's the thing. Westbrook is still a player, you know, but he just wasn't. I mean, but fit is almost is is so important in basketball, and he just did not fit on the Lakers. Lakers needed shooters, not necessarily playmakers. If you you know. It's a little difference there, but but that's what they needed. And the Clippers actually is a great team for Westbrook because they need that kind of ability, that kind of Westbrookness, instead of because uh, they have shooters, they have the shooting. All right, so they could use someone like Westbrook. Show still on? People like that show that much? Anyone watch Dr. Pimple Popper? Another Erlen Holland. Actually went to the guys and said, 
And we've got a Diago Jota autograph. Nice. Liverpool edition. I like it. I think he's been banged up a good chunk of the season too, but but Liverpool have have a pretty good attack. They can get that uh can get that midfield in order. Nice, nineteen ninety nine. That's uh, Leo Ostegard for Norway. It's for Tristan. They can get that midfield in order. You know, maybe some uh, some depth in the defense. You know, then I think they could get back to their winning ways. I don't know if any of these players will admit it, but I think chasing after the quadruple last season, they played a ton of games. That team played a ton of games between all the domestic competitions and the European competitions. It all went pretty deep into the season, I think. And without proper refreshing of the squad in the summer, which... It's unfortunate, but that was a mistake by Liverpool. It's the result. It's Bruno Fernandes for Man United. That goes to Matt. It's to 165. I like that Kylian Mbappe. I like this hollow ice parallel we have. Yeah, Logan saying sun sting. Well, let's, let's see if Joe Pizzle will, will show his face. All right, that is that, ladies and gentlemen. Got a Cristiano Ronaldo here. A lot of nice parallels, some nice hits. Brian Kaysen got that Diogo Jota. But no bounty. Very close to some bounties as well. But, hey, maybe, maybe in the next bounty break we'll see some more action. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and we'll do some more footy with you next time. Bye-bye.